Hey guys, Joel here from Million Mile Sprinter. I have in front of me the OM647 engine. This also applies to the OM612 engine here in the US and I'm sure um, other similar versions in Europe. Um, I'll be talking in Fahrenheit here because I'm in the States, but um, it's all the same. So I get lots of questions about fan clutches and it's a big deal. Um, your fan clutch you should, if your temperatures get to be about one, I'm sorry, 215, 220, 230, somewhere in there, and all of a sudden you hear the engine start to sound a lot louder than it was before, that's probably your fan clutch kicking in. And that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, this is the thermostat in here, and it takes a temperature being blown in past the radiator, and it, it kicks on. So instead of it uh, being loose and just kind of like floating along, it solidifies, the, it solidifies inside and kicks on and really starts sucking in lots of air. Now, here's the problem. I send out these cooling kits, and people replace pieces, or they just actually just order a fan clutch. This is actually more common with just the fan clutch itself. Um... And that is people say, oh, I got the fan clutch, but it doesn't kick on. It's, not, it's, supposed, it's supposed to kick on at 215, 215 degrees, but it kicks on at 225 or 230. It's bad. Something's wrong with it. Well, that's not true. If it's bad, it won't kick on at all. And what you have to understand is the way the cooling system works. Uh, right down here, we have all well, we have the, the water pump behind there. And right down here, we have all the, the hottest fluid coming out of, the, rad, uh, out of the, the engine into the radiator here. It gets cooled through the radiator, and then it goes back in through some hoses up top here, and it goes into the thermostat housing, all right? The thermostat housing, the sensor, is right there. That's the temperature gauge on your um, dashboard. That's the temperature gauge that you're looking at, right? And um, so... When you're looking at the temperature you're, of, the, of the coolant, you're not looking at it. You're not getting it it's, it's at its hottest reading, okay? You're getting it after it's already been cooled by the radiator and going back into the engine. Um, that doesn't really matter, but you have to understand that it, it is what it is. It's not, it's not actually, the, the coolant gets way hotter than 200 and, or whatever your temperature is reading, 190, 200, 215. The temperature is actually way hotter than that, Okay. So this is what you're looking at. So if you're looking at this and saying, well, what's my temperature? What's my temperature? What's my, what's my temperature? It's coming in right here. It's already cooled down. Well, this, people say it's supposed to kick on, ideally, at 215. Well, there's so much at play here. First of all, this thermostat is not connected in any way, shape, or form to this temperature sensor. So just because this temperature sensor says it's one temperature, and it's 215, doesn't mean that this thermostat is actually getting the uh, the temperature. I don't even honestly know what the specs are on this, right? What what temperature uh, air has to be flowing through here for this to kick on? But because they're not physically connected, there's no way for this to automatically signal uh, at 215 for this fan clutch to turn on. So the fan clutch will turn on at approximately that. What if you've got a radiator that, for whatever reason, isn't getting a lot of airflow through it, right? Uh, to uh, to send to get air into the across this uh, fan clutch. Um, what if your thermostat is old? What if your sensor inside is old? What if your wiring is dirty or corroded? Any of those things and more things could complicate and could explain why your fan clutch seems to turn on at a higher temperature than what you would expect it to. So, so hopefully this helps you guys understand that there's no exact science, there's no exact connection between those two. And that if your fan clutch is turning on anywhere from like 210 to 230, it's working, okay? It's working, it's doing its job. Um, and you just need to trust the process. Um, it's not bad, um, so yeah. All right, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully it clears up some stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, find more of my videos uh, helpful. And uh, if you need parts for your sprinter, you know where to get them. MillionMileSprinter.com.